Hello everyone, it's Mel from Everything Marmy. Welcome to Friday the 19th of April 2024 and today is going to be a jam filled packed or jam packed filled, I don't know, my sentences are all backwards you guys so <laughs> it's going to be jam packed, okay? <laughs> um, I'm going to try to fit everything in. I had a request on Instagram that I thought was very, very curious. And also it was time because today we are doing the house book. And if you've been following my channel at all, everybody, you know that this is the giveaway video. The giveaway video. And what does that mean? Well, I have a scrawler box full of goodies that somebody can win internationally um, if you comment on two of the house book videos that I've done in the last couple of weeks. Okay, so just, I, I will put, you know, altered art journal book, but this is actually the entry video, you guys. And you have to say, I'm in. And you have to say that you have done two of the um, the videos. I'd like you to tell me which ones. So if I have four, I want you to go back and count. One, two, three, four. And say two and this one. Or three and this one. Or one and this one. Or all and this one. Okay? That would be great. And so that's what you need to do to be entered into the International Scrawler Box Giveaway. The products in this box, you guys, are fantastic. They are high quality. I have done a uh, box opening of the Scrawler Boxes. And there was one that I didn't use the products of. So you might be able to deduce, deduce what is in there. Now moving on. Oh, and I'm going to keep that open until Wednesday the 24th. And then I will draw, do the draw live um, probably on the 25th. And I better actually write that on my calendar. Cut off for contest. Scrawler box. My handwriting is chicken scratching. And then online draw international. I always try to do international as much as possible. There is no dollar value associated with this draw. There's no replacement. Once it gets into the mail, you guys, I am not responsible. And also, you've got to be 18 plus a subscriber and like this video if you would not mind. Um, and please make a complete sentence about something you like about the Altered Art Journal or something you don't like about the Altered Art Journal. Uh, either way, as long as you're kind, I really don't care. <clears throat> so I've got some papers here. Okay. And I'm going to show you some supplies that I'm going to use today. And then I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Because I'm going to do this book a couple of ways today. And then I've just got some crinkled up copy paper that I hold out of my Braille book. And if you're not familiar with this book at all, let me just give you a quick going over. It is an altered art journal. It is a two inch thick spine. It's 10 by 10 inches. I've removed half of the pages in here, which you can see here. I've clipped them off. There is many videos that I've done on this book and you can go back and watch those if you so choose. These are magazine cuttings um, from Art Journaling Magazine that I've just really liked and pinned off to cut out if I want. And I'm looking around for space to put these because my gosh, I've got an envelope of little bits, I've got an envelope of other bits, and I've used some of these papers that I've removed from the book to either paint um, and I don't here let me take this clip off I don't 
when I'm doing my background pages, you guys, I don't have any particular uh, thought in mind to how I'm doing them. I'm using up what paint I have. Um, as you can see, I'm just, I think these are all like upside down. So you can see I've just used up paint that I had in my paint palette. Yeah, I think they are all up. I, they're all like mixed up. But they will be like a nice addition to however I choose to use this journal. And then I have the rest of the pages waiting for me to use in other ways. None of this book will be wasted. I love houses. I have actually a fascination with them. This idea was sparked uh, by two people. Uh, Jeannie, Gina at, oh gosh, I always forget her new channel name, but she used to be the rebookery. She did altered cookbooks and as like planners and then like journals and then also uh, Courtney Diaz at uh, Little Raven Inc. I will leave um, hashtags for that. Um, any spreads that you do, there is a hashtag for that. Um, little, uh, hashtag Little Raven Art. She stopped the project seven years ago. I've reopened it. Uh, because it isn't my idea, I'm giving the hashtag back to her, which is something I believe in doing very strongly. So I even have like paper towel here um, because paper towel is a great medium as well. So like these are all the pieces that I can use in spreads. So what is really like fantastic about using a altered art journal is anything goes. Anything, absolutely anything goes. It, in Courtney's like uh, description of hers, I didn't even line those up. She says it's where life and art mix. And she literally has a flip through. In one of my videos, I did attach it um, where she puts pictures of her children. She does her art. Um, and of course, she was inspired by Tisha Moore and on and on and on it goes. This community is fantastic for inspiring one person that person inspires another person and so on and so on and so on so that these are some of the papers okay and i will just put those to the side and then this book here is like i said a quick little flip i started it mid-march so that's your starting point when you're going back to see all you have to do is answer the question in one of the videos and i do long videos you guys um there are no ads on my videos and so it can be at any point throughout the video so if you haven't grabbed yourself a drink please do so i have two today i have my sippy cup of water <laughs> if you're new you'll understand i have a kind of dry sense of humor and i have my pure protein which is uh, chocolate um I'm out of the coffee flavored ones, but this does have 30 grams of protein. And if you don't mind, I will have a sip now to put something in my stomach. I haven't felt hungry uh, for a while, so I have to get some calories in before my walk today. I apologize about that, folks, especially if there's guzzling on the other side. So what I've done here is just use some watercolors, some pencil crayons. I live in Canada. We call them pencil crayons. Most people call them colored pencils. I'm going to stay true to pencil crayons. Up here is permanent marker. Um, these were some... What are they? I always forget what they're called. Um, Copit marker um, copies <laughs> and I got a whole bunch some of them I got in art boxes much like the scroller box only uh, art snacks or I think art snacks and uh, scroller box were the ones that I was doing mainly and then the painting of the tree I didn't like you guys so I covered it completely covered it did not like how that tree turned out 
Um, so I covered it with one of these pages and you can see a glimpse of that hard tree under there, but that's okay. Like I said, everything is not lost. It's never lost because you can simply cover it up and do it again. Um, and I thought I would just use one of these pages, come along and do something else, maybe do more swatches or something there. But it doesn't really matter to me. I just didn't like it. It didn't fit the aesthetic I wanted. I'm looking for my tape. Which is always hiding. There it is. I should actually use washi. Um, let's get some washi going here. There we go. And maybe I'll put some on the corner. I've had these little um, containers. I've got two of them that I got from Stationery Pal. And I find them frustrating because they don't work for me <laughs> as great. They're supposed to stack upon each other. And I've hauled them down for my space in my bedroom. And... I want to use up the washi before it gets um, past that point of usability, if you know what I mean. Like, you'd have to use glue or tape over top of it. So I'm just taping it over to the other side. And as I suspected, it's not quite enough. But for now, it'll be okay. So that's all I've done. It's just covered it up. And that's the thing. You know... Um, you can definitely always fix what doesn't work. And if you followed my channel long enough, you know I say we're perfectly imperfect because no matter what uh, rises from your page, you can always do it over again if you don't like it. You can always take another piece of paper and draw over top of it. You could always, you know, whatever. So here I've got basically a fresh start and that's you know that's something that you've got to keep in in your mind and these will thicken these pages and by the way like this book is 1974 so when you're looking for a book to alter and you can see here where I've left um like I've ripped out pages I've either every second or third you can rip out multiples in a row but leave that bit there so that the, the pages don't slip out, okay? And if uh, your pages are thin, like in a cookbook that Gina Say uses, um, she used to glue every page together. I found that tedious for myself. The other um, supply that's really good in these books is simple masking tape. You can get this in various sizes, and I've used it here. And it does dull down the color quite considerably. And this book is so large, it's not going to fit in the screen. But you can see where I've drawn here. I've done some art. Um, just mindless art in here. And I love this vintage style so much that I pulled this out of my stash. And it's 1950s collage papers. Um... And these were off of Amazon. So you can really take things like this and make your own books from them. Look at that. Like I can tape that right in this book. These are um, eight and a half by 11. So a normal like page, but you're not really going to lose all that much if you're using a 10 by 10, right? So it's not going to fill it lengthwise, but it will up there. And that's where washi comes in and whatnot. But, you know, a lot of these you could just cut up. See? It's a beautiful book. And who makes this one? Modernista makes this book. So the other book I have, I showed recently in a haul from Keely O'Brien. It's the steampunk book. So if I'm feeling a little bit wild and I want to do that, anything goes in this book. And I could cut out this ephemera. I can mix this ephemera 
with this, it would go really, really well, you see, because the colors, you know? And so all that stops you from creating what you want to create is really your own um, imagination. You could juxtaposition these two kind of images, you know, if I wanted to go that route. And you've got the back papers as well. So I had pulled those out. But in the meantime, I'm just showing you how I've laid down like cutouts. I've like drawn on the paper itself. I like the outlines of the houses in the back. I've, you know, cut half size pages. I've drawn a mermaid here. Of course, you see my faces are not the great greatest and I'm looking for my eraser, which good luck, Mel. I did try to tidy my desk and I've tossed everything into a pencil case, one of four, and forget it. But you see the proportions here are not right. Oh, here's an eraser. So I'm just gonna erase her face. What I'm going to do instead is probably come along with watercolor and do it that way because, sorry, I'm shaking the table, um, because with watercolor, I know how to place a face. For some reason, when I use the pencil, I do not. And this hand, too, is not the greatest. And when you're erasing on, like, images from a book, try to do circular, because you could see how it, like, um, started to smear. Okay. So, yeah. So, May is Mermay. Uh, for drawing if you're interested and then a lot of you have seen me do this I'm not going to linger too long here um, I did do this page recently um, just of faces this one here I am going to collage but I wanted to block out certain pictures and what I mean by collage is just cut out like bright pieces of let me just grab a book I have this bag here and I have some like, where is it? Is that the book? No, no, and here it is. I think this is the Dina Wakely one, is it? No, Vicky Bouton. So what I was going to do is take something like this and just put it over top and collage it. You see, collage over top of that. And that's easy enough to do with tracing paper you can even do it with this kind of paper, okay? Cut this out and then lay it on here and use it as a, a cutting point. So, and I did that on the 13th of April, which was yeah, over a week ago, and just drew all these different types of faces. So those are just ideas I'm presenting and that I have done because I have something called kindergarten art and I'm okay with that. So all of these here, I can put like gesso on and paint up or write on or do whatever. And um, again, these are just easy flowers to embellish on. This book has endless possibilities, endless possibilities. So this is one of the pages I want to work on today. I'm going to move this to here. But before I do that... Um, a lady by the name of Carol wanted to know if this altered art journal could be used as a planner, and it absolutely can. So what I did was dig out this, and this is from Kaiser Craft. I got this from a friend named Soleil in Australia, and it has the days of the week, some words, and some like um, tabs uh, for the record today notes little things in document okay so that's really good so um, let's say we start here as the cover page so um, if I wanted to do this I would start say here and it's just gonna just be a random thing 
because I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I never do. I come on with the vague idea and it just goes from there, guys. So there's your cover page. Okay, so you can do whatever you want with that. And then you can come along to here and I'm going to say, hmm, I can always change these. So I'm going to use this white one. And I'm going to use this one to kind of, and do I mind that this is in my art journal book? Absolutely not. If I don't like it, I can come along and just cut this off, paint over it. Sky is the limit, you guys. So I'm just laying these down. And this might be a part one and part two, but this is the giveaway video. Please answer only on this one. Um, it's the only one I'll accept it on. And you please tell me which video that you've also answered on because you have to answer on two. So one. Um, so that, that'll be notes to the page. So then we're going to start with Monday. put Monday here. I don't care if it's painted or not painted or dated or not dated. It doesn't matter. Tuesday. Can you guys see everything? Wednesday. So Carol, I hope this really helps you out. You can take any book and do this. Any Reader's Digest book, any soft cover book, if you if you want, just if the papers aren't strong enough, make them strong enough. You don't need the money, honey. You just need creativity. And if you don't have like a sheet like this, just make it. Just make it out of crayons and cut it out and use glue. Remember, these are just conveniences. They're not mandatory. I only use them in my videos because, as it is, I do hour plus long videos. And there's a half there, so maybe that'll be an extra thing in Sunday. And then hmm, I could use in my extra papers here. Let's see what I've got. I like that one. So we're going to mark this one as today. Okay, and then this one got caught up. And then behind that, what do we got? We've got today, for the record, the little things. So let's go ahead with that. Now, I'm not going to be filling it all in. I'm just going to give you an idea, okay? That's all I'm going to do is give you an idea. Now, notes, obviously, um, we can write days of the week underneath. And... For the record, let's do that. So all I'm doing is going through all of these papers and just lining them up. Doesn't have to be lined up, mind you. You can be as creative as you want to be in these books. But I'm just showing you how simple it is to take a altered art journal and turn it into um, what Gina does at the rebookery or did at the rebookery. And again, that's going back some years, but I want to give her credit for it because that's where I first seen it. So for the record, we'll give that two pages. And then the little things like say gratitude, maybe, I don't know. We'll do it again. We'll fold that baby down. 
And I'm really not working in perfection. And anybody who knows me knows this. You see, it's not it's not at all straight here. In fact, I really hoop that one up. I do have to fix that. I mean, there comes a point where, okay, lazy is one thing, but like it should be a little bit nicer than that. So the little things, you know, and here you can draw your week or whatever. And I like to give it an extra page in here. And then the last one, it says today. Now this could be your list, your notes, whatever. And again, we come down here. And you can change all of this. And I did a video a long time ago. Oh, see, that one's crooked too. Good thing you guys can't see it off camera. Hang on a second. This book is so big, it doesn't fit in the screen, you guys. Where I actually, and I can't get to them right now, they're buried. But I actually made these tabs. I cut them all out out of paint cards I got free at like Canadian Tire. So they're easy to do and free to do. You, there's free supplies all over the city. So there, there basically is your um, planner within, when it, within a planner. And then you've got all these stickers, right? So say I don't, I don't want this here. I want to put something else there. I want to start it with some pretty papers or something. This one's really pretty. It's eight and a half by 11. That's kind of pretty, isn't it? So I'm gonna be really rustic with it. And just tear some off. Kind of like the, the torn up look. And if it's like too torn up, then let's see how we are here now. I could actually leave that up a little bit to, um, but I don't think I will. Where's the scissors? Let's get that out of there. These are too small. I'll take a fine little bit off the top here. Now, obviously, this is going to be too short. So, I'm going to washi tape it for now on this page. And sky is the limit, honestly. Like, you can get your papers free from, like this one here. You could get your papers free from junk mail and dye them with coffee or tea just by putting your tea bag down on top of them. You don't need to have any fancy skills. Trust me, I know. Um, I've taken paint water to dye paper. I've taken um, juice, cranberry juice, to dye paper. I've taken almost anything you can think of. You know, when your kids have pop, right? Well, I haven't tried pop, but that could be something interesting. And of course, it wouldn't be a video without one of my hairs, you guys. <laughs> I want to thank uh, all of you guys for such kind, lovely comments. My day was absolutely made yesterday. Um, not to say that people, I, I missed a whole bunch of people too when I was talking about um, those that have blessed me. I, I am so, so sorry 
Really, I am. I've received so much from so many of you, and it's so hard to keep up. Um, I hope you can forgive me if I missed your name. But, you know, you just, you all bring a smile and warmth to m my heart. And for those of you that do want to be pen pals, please go to my Instagram and leave your address. And um, once I get to like, I don't know, I can only do like three. So if you're the first three, because I've gotten quite a few, then um, then that's where I'll stop. I don't want to take off more than I can do because I am very much a person of my word, you see, you guys, okay? So um, I'm a consistent person. Please don't, don't get a hold of me to be a pen pal if you, you have no desire to... Um, to respond to any of my letters and also I should mention that in the beginning I really am not looking for um, information of like deep personal stuff to begin with I'm just looking for uh, crafty friends at this point uh, what I mean by that is I'm not looking to exchange personal information on the personal level that will exclude for me um, and give me a bit of a safety net because um, I'm not looking to be um, deep in in a friendship that way to begin with. That's not how pen pals work. Uh, pen pals talk about, you know, what they see, what they hear, what arts, what they're reading, things like that. Um, okay, so just so we're clear. So here we've got a nice little uh, cover page. I'm going to use the tape just to tape that piece down. Okay. And then, as you can see, it's crooked because this has come out. Why has that come out? What has happened here? What has happened? Okay, something's happened. Something has completely happened with this page. So we're just going to, again, fix it. So what's happened, you see, is that when I put down the washi tape, the paper had come out. So we're going to just remove that. We're going to leave that. I'm going to do it with tape. Because the washi didn't want to hold. Again, I, I, I say this all the time, and I know you guys have heard it all the time, but there's really nothing you can do that you can't fix in life. Uh, it's true in life, actually. It's really true in life. Uh, it's about mindset. It's about attitude change. It's about gratitude. It's about feeling um, that our lives are a gift. It's uh, it's about a lot of things, right? Um it's all good and it's really hard sometimes when you're especially when you're struggling um there's so many of you that i know personally that well i wouldn't say personally i haven't met you in person i've heard from you in person uh that's what i mean that do struggle and share with me some some of your struggles but you're not sharing it with me for me to feel pity and that my friends is the key nobody wants to be pitied here nobody wants that um, okay, so here we have the cover page. It's nice, right? So you've got you've got a planner going on now for an end page. I thought I'd like tie it all in, right? So it's sort of the same thing. So we're gonna go here and do kind of the same thing. How do I want to do this? Um, I just dropped the tape. Come back here. And you know what? <clears throat> I'm not real happy with that one. So I'm going to use the same one. I'm going to use the same one to mark it. 
And then all these pages here, if I want to add those, I can. You can add, 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 add. That's why you remove so much because you really just don't want to put so much pressure on the spine, you're gonna, you're gonna break it. So on this one, I'm just gonna flip the colors upside down. My cutting is probably grossly negligent. Not, not too bad. It's true what they say, the more you do it, the better you get at it. And again, I'm just gonna come along and put it here as sort of a, like an end page for this particular journal inside of an altered art book. So you can do the whole thing like that. You can put your calendar, everything. And if you go to the rebookery and look up Gina Johnson, um, just type in the rebookery. I'll, I'll leave her link below anyway. Um, she shows you what she does. It's amazing. Um, and even with Courtney, you know, it, you just, you're only limited to what you think, you know, um, what you think you can do. So Carol, if you're watching, um, thank you for, for putting this out there. I'm sure many people will benefit from this because, uh, some people can't visualize it on their own, and I completely understand that. So here, from here to here, where are we? Um, where is the beginning? For the record. Okay, here we are. So, essentially, from here to here, we have our, our book. And where are the stickers? Now, when I turn the page, I've got this lovely sticker here. And it is a lovely sticker. But, do I want to put it there? No. I'm thinking... that I want to add it here. And this will remind me that I have inside of this journal something that is unique. And then with these extra cuttings, What are we at? 37 minutes. We're doing really good, guys. So we need something at the top, though, to indicate it. So I'm just going to... Hmm. Can't really do that now, can I? I'm just going to randomly put these guys here. Let's remove that. Now, how I can mark it, though is I've got some butterflies. So I'm going to take these butterflies. They're exactly the same. But you can cut them out and glue them. So don't let this part stop you, okay? And I'm going to come along. And I'm just going to say, put them here. And then on the other side, stick it up here. Now, I got these sheets of paper a long time ago, you guys, like a long time ago, so I don't know how um, these stickers will hold. But I'm just reinforcing it so that the little butterfly can stay on there so that when the book is closed, look at that, you can see it, okay? So, again, you can come along with any words on top of this, and you've got your little planner. You can keep adding pages to it, you know. Um, 
And what I mean by that, like you could take literally printer paper, fold it in half over and over and over again and, and make a little planner within a planner. Okay. So don't, don't let your, do, try not to let your imagination say, no, you can't do that. You absolutely can do anything you want, anything you want. Um, it can be done. And as for this, you can decorate this, you know, you can make it a little smaller, say that's too long. You know, you can make this say your, your evening and morning routine. This gentleman here, he's like, okay, what are you going to be doing? You know, you can put your routines for the day and the evening. You can tell it's not straight. I am getting really fussy. This is why they call it fussy cutting, because people get fussy. <laughs> All right. I hope that answered your question, Carol. Okay. We're going to move on now. And... That was the tutorial on how you can take an altered art journal and turn it into a planner. It has been done before. Okay, so the next part, I want to go back up here. And I've shown you how to put parts of papers down that you like. I've shown you like how you can paint it and add more paint and more paint but what we haven't done and, and swatches and how to cover pictures you don't like and even like you know do this particular page which was inspired by James Burke um, although I'd heard about this before from my art classes and it wasn't the best done but you pick three colors and then you you kind of do three different drawings. And I did that really quickly. I was uh, pen testing here. And again, I'm gonna use that to collage. It is just for me, like a practice book. I used to make paper houses out of like shoe boxes and anything else. Excuse me while I take some take a drink here. Pardon me. So now somewhere in here, I think I did mark it. I have these pages. And in these pages, what I wanted to do is photographs. So this was part of Courtney Diaz's um, original idea with her sewing book. And she did it with photographs of virtually everything. So I have taken photographs of where I live. So here are some of them. And I'm just going to flip through so you guys can all see the beautiful landscape. I love clouds. I love this one. Look at how gorgeous that is. Now, I love photography, guys, and uh, I miss, I absolutely miss old style cameras. And um, yeah, it's beautiful. This one here, I, I double exposed it. You can see I was, I was at a place, um, that's like a, a tree sanctuary. And there's like um, a wall here. I was camping about 20 minutes away. I, I went on a hike and I double exposed this, this shot. So what I did was I focused on um, the tree trunk and then I focused on in behind the tree trunk. And if you see that, um, you can see the lights. But it makes it an interesting picture because in it I can see eyes, nose, and that's what I like to do with photographs. 
So here is the mountains. This is a little further up island and it's an aerial shot. I was actually at the top. This was done years and years ago, mind you. I was actually at the top of um, an, an, it's an overlook. And these were the mountains below. Some of them are the same shots, but different angles. Again, clouds. I am fascinated by clouds. I see faces in the clouds. Again, you can take pictures of simple leaves. I've done that. Um, I think I will post a video in my community post of me um, reciting three of my poems where I have a variety of these kind of photographs that seem to be odd, but they're not odd. They're the little minuscule things that I'm, I'm grateful for because they're often overlooked. Look at this color. And these were on cameras, guys, that didn't even have the resolution of the cameras today. This is at a place called Butchard Gardens. And no, actually, it wasn't because I'm seeing a house. Oh, I know where that was, and I can't tell you. Sorry. And I think we're almost at the end of my picture show and tell. And so why am I showing you these? Are we at the beginning again? Yeah. Okay, so what I wanna do is I, I wanna take some ephemera. I've got an ephemera pack of basically junk. It's junk, guys. It's literally things like, I don't know. Um, see, there's some like school supply stuff. There's empty packaging, empty cards. Well, I guess it's not all junk, is it? What is this? Some of it is tags. What's this? I'm seeing a... a oh, it's a set I got for my daughter. Yeah. <laughs> I love my daughter. <laughs> my middle daughter loved Betsy Johnson, so... Um, vellum and... You know, just bits like that. I don't even know what's in some of these because I have them put away. You know, it, the way I see it is as long as they're contained, then I can use them. And so this was in my art closet in a bag. Look at that butterfly. So beautiful. So, I mean, I could literally hang that off of here if I wanted to. Um, sky's the limit when it comes to these kind of journals, you guys. I've got like um, oh my goodness, yeah. Um, receipts from things from years ago. These are like sticky mounters. Um, if I think it's at all useful for my journals and tags, you know, then I'm going to keep it. Envelopes. Little envelopes. Okay, I won't linger there too much. Oh, these are um, like uh, scratch-ons. But yeah, I, I suggest getting in the habit of just keeping odds and ends of things that you might throw out. Um, this here, I took a piece of plastic and turned it into like a bookmark. And if you see that, see, it's a bookmark. It's kind of large, I know, but it's a reversible one, so it can go like this too. So I was just playing around with the X-Acto knife. I know I say I don't have a lot of time now, but I mean, then I have just a couple of cards because cards are wonderful, guys. Like you can put that card down here. Let's move that, it doesn't go with the aesthetic. You can put that card down here and also I have like sticker backings. Now you guys have seen a copy of that in my Hobonichi Cousin so I might not use that one but say I want to use this sticker backing and this card 
which is give thanks. Okay, so this is more of a, a spiritual one, but I can definitely use that, you know. Um, I would probably separate and then use this as one part of the ephemera and then the flowers another, but keep the back background. So I think I'll do that now because I'd rather be doing something than just talking. And there's a lot of glitter on it and I want to, I want to do something. I'm not sure if it'll be a full complete spread or not, but this is sort of my version of doing a spread. I'm just rounding off the corners. And as for these circles, I really like them because let's, let's put them on there. These stickers I took off and put in my journal. And um, let's see if I can get them off. And I've always like really try to use up everything. So it's not going to be as easy as it looks. It isn't for me because um, I've, I've learned to do it in a slower fashion. I used to pull it right off before and now I don't. Now I just try to do section by section because it's not as easy as it looks. And it's going to probably like thump up and bump up in places. See over here? That's okay. I don't I don't need it to be perfect. But I always struggle getting these big like layered stickers down it's just one of my things but this is good sticker paper so if i wanted to put this in the back of a journal i just fold it in half use my tape runner um, tape it into the back of a journal like a travel um, notebook and a tn and now i can take stickers with me on the go so Because I'm just using that flower, I definitely want to cut out the rest of this white base here. And I like the glitter. So I have absolutely zero plan on what I'm doing. All you guys know is that I have pictures that I've taken and cards. You get a package of these at the Dollar Tree. And I'm literally just kind of throwing a page together without, I think it really does have to go over here. I might have to find something else for there, but for the moment, we're just gonna put that here. I hope this is creating inside of you some ideas. Um, everything that I do has been done before, time and again, a million times, I am sure. I don't watch every channel on YouTube. I don't know who to give credit for all of these things, but I'm sure it's been done. And so all I'm here doing is trying to inspire sparks of creativity that do a number of things and some of those things that i hope to aspire in people is that um, creativity does so much for a person's health mental health um, just general well-being keeping their hands busy um, that kind of thing i like that in there where's my little glue Um, yeah, so I, I'm not a therapist. I don't have a degree in therapy. I am a simple everyday person. I have done a lot of research for, you know, mental health. Yes. Uh, it doesn't make me an expert though. 
I also have um, Changing the Topic. I also have some floral ephemera from Maggie, uh, Maggie Holmes, I think. Yeah, Maggie Holmes crepe paper. These are really nice. I could add to them as well if I wanted. Um, so there is quite a variety of things that you can use to lay down your page. And so all I'm going to do now is look at some of these photographs and try to make a spread of pictures that I like. And I really do like the sunset ones. And I know I have a vertical one here. And I can journal about them and that's the whole point. So I want to glue those down. I do have multiple copies of photos because back in the day I never knew how my photos would turn out so um, and these have all have been uh, photographed and loaded into my computer by my daughter so I'm not too worried about it but I do love the visual of pictures and since my family really doesn't want me to put you know them on the internet which I completely respect and understand I usually cut out images from magazines to um like play act them if you will um so my daughters I'll cut out of a magazine and it won't be my daughters but I'll say you know this character could be my daughter and these could be my grandchildren. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, I did want to do it the other way. I wanted the block at the top. Because black, pink, gold, and white are my absolute favorite colors. And then I've got something down here that I want to do. And I do love trees. And that is actually the extension of it. So I'm going to cut this picture here in half. And so it's just a different way of doing a scrapbook, I guess this page is, but it's still a quote unquote altered junk journal um, because I could come along with art, with stickers, with, you know, little quote boxes. That one's done. Um, this one has a removable tape. I almost chucked that out. I'm glad I didn't. And like I said, these books, anything can go. Absolutely anything can go. Now, I do have half of this one here. You see, I want to write in here, but I also I want to do that. Or do I want to do something that completely changes? Like sort of a complete change of direction. So let's look, because I'm sure there's something. If I didn't want the grass on there, that would work. And then, of course, I have to squiggle the top here. Because I've done that with the card, you see? Well, at least in my mind. Maybe it's not so obvious to anybody else, but. <laughs> so this is just one idea. 
I do have other ideas. Um, I will link uh, Courtney Diaz's channel um, below. And she does have a playlist. There's only like four videos in her playlist. That was like seven, eight years ago on her altered sewing book. Um, did I like stick you down permanently? I might have. Okay. Happy accidents. There we go. So, um, there is space in between. I could take the time now to color it. I could take the time now to journal about it. Um, I could do a lot of things with that right now. However, we are already at the hour mark. This is the giveaway uh, video. Um, please follow my verbal <laughs> instructions. I'm not going to type them out. It's very difficult for me, guys, um, to do that. And like I said, it is international. Please be over 18. Um, please like the video. I mean, there's no way I can tell if you like the video or not. But I would appreciate it. Um, oh, I know. I had this stamp that I wanted to see if it still worked. These are hearts that I got at the Dollar Tree. Look at that. Yay me. Yeah, I'm going crazy here. I want to thank you guys, as always, for spending your most precious commodity in, in, uh, in what I consider your world with me today. Um, I pray that each and every one of you is doing well. Um, so we did this page. And Carol, I hope this really helped you out. And anybody else who was wondering if they could use a book like this to do a journal in. You absolutely can, and I'll do another video where I work on a page or so and show you how I can, you know, alter this with inexpensive supplies because Carol did mention, and Carol, I hope you don't mind that I'm saying this, but Carol mentioned that, you know, um, it's very difficult to, to keep up with the communities when you don't have a, a whole lot of funding. I totally get it. I've been there. We've all been there. And so there's no shame in that, none at all. Um, and because there is none at all, I don't mind spending the time doing that. So, um, if you guys have answers or, or comments like that, please don't, don't hesitate in using the commentary box. There are so many people in your same shoes that you would be opening up a wide door, um, just for saying things like that. It is so vitally important that we don't judge based on anything other than how we treat others. That's how I look at it. We're all equal. We don't, we don't, we don't have any esteem or just because somebody has this job or somebody has that, it doesn't matter. Okay. What matters is that we're good as possible, <laughs> that we nurture kindness within ourselves and therefore others, and that we don't intentionally try to hurt anybody. And so, other than that, guys, um, remember, please, we are all perfectly imperfect. You are all loved, needed, and wanted far, far more than you will ever know. Thank you all for spending your precious time with me, for all of your kind comments that have, like, blown me away. I can't, I can't even tell you. Uh, you guys make my day. You truly do. Um, and, like, my heart just melts every time I read the comments. Thank you so, so much. Um, and please find something today that brings a spark of hope and joy and that brings on your creativity. And most of all, folks, I hope that you are safe, pain-free, and knowing that you're in somebody's mind. Thank you so much, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye, folks, and thank you, Carol, for this suggestion. Remember, folks, the giveaway video, you must answer exactly how I've, I've introduced it in the giveaway video. If you miss a step, I'm sorry, but my decision will be final on the draw. And 
Human beings make mistakes. If I happen to make a mistake, then I am so sorry up front. But that's my disclaimer. Okay? I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm not sponsored by Scrawlerbox or YouTube. I don't even pull any funding from YouTube. I don't do that. I do this purely for my own enjoyment, my own spark of joy. So with that being said, have a brilliant and blessed, lovely day. And I will speak to you next time. Talk to you later, folks.